of Ask Me Hardies. I'm John Ryan, joined by my good friend Casey DeFreitas. And uh, today we are looking at uh, sort of this, but not really. Um, this is the uh, original book from Wizards of the Coast, uh, the Ghost of Saltmarsh Adventure for Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition. But the real star of the show today is this, uh, the Sinister Silver Edition from our friends over at Beetle and Grimm. Uh, now, for those of you unfamiliar with Beetle and Grimm, uh, they do sort of high-end luxury versions of uh, the, ooh, that's real nice. I know. All right. I just kind of wanted to dig in. No, no, do it. That's fine. You just jump right ahead. Um, so Beetle and Grimm, as you can see here in their name, um, they do like really fancy versions of uh, the kits for all of the new D&D adventures. So this, in addition to uh, the adventures that you would normally get in just the base book, comes with all sorts of props and accessories and maps and stuff, and they're really cool. Um, but also, as a fan of just good old burlap sacks, uh, <laughs> it comes in this nice burlap sack from the Saltmarsh Trading Co. Already shedding. Right, it's already shedding all over. So the, the great thing that you see, uh, first off, right out of the box, the first thing that comes up is these. Um, so yeah, these are all, it looks like letters of intent, evidence, um, missives between uh, ship lords. Ooh, a certificate of achievement in the defense of the town of Saltmarsh. All right. Uh, so again, physical props that you can hand out. Um, and the nice thing here is that on some of these, don't read down here if you want any spoilers, but you can put your character, your party's names. So if you want to do it like real fancy style. And make them sign it in blood. I'm no, don't do that. no, don't. This is what I am. I love, and I know DMs really enjoy this oh, as well, so because handy. you they're just so put nice. this over the DM screen and your players see this really nice picture and be but like, you see this. what's on the back? This. And on the back is the character card. They're so real the handy. DMs get to see everything, the players get to see the picture, and this it's kind great. of gets they're... around, you know, picking up the book and trying to awkwardly cover the yeah. information. Yeah, don't look at any hand. of the stats, but like, look at this yeah. cool art. Um, and it's really, it's the best of both. So it's really handy for you, the DM. It's also great for your players. Um, yeah, so there's uh, the giant octopi. Um, a harpy, nobody really likes anything with those. Goblins. Um, so there's some fun ones too. So this is great because you're not necessarily. <laughs> so there, it's stuff that it's not just gonna be creatures that you'll encounter on the high seas. It's also stuff like harpies and goblins and dragons. Ooh, who's that boy? I mean, I think we found this in our current other campaign as well. Oh yeah, right? you super did. <laughs> wah, wah. We played too much D&D. This guy has a name. That's why you can't do that. <laughs> Oh, fun. Okay, so similar to uh, the creature cards, you also have, if you want to provide sort of inspiration for your characters, uh, you've got these setting placards that can hang over your DM screen. Uh, so you'll see uh, this one's underwater and there's like a two-headed shark in it. That's horrifying. Oh, here's here. this one is probably more appropriate. Shrimp fight! <laughs> it's a shrimp fight. Why? So yeah, you see all the, basically all the art that is in uh, the baseline Saltmarsh book uh, is now cool, like sort of inspiration that you can hang around your your play area for your players to to check out. It's right. Like you've got folks looking at sea maps, you've got uh, a bunch of lizard folk plotting to do lizard folky things. Probably this gamble. This is art directly from the book. There are thirty of these cards, by the way, and some of them are specific. Thanks for counting. Yeah, some of these are specific to this campaign, so they are, are yeah. named characters. So they're, they're not just characters. Generic. But you can also still like use the art that's yeah. on those for other stuff. So what do we have? Here. Ooh, brooches. Um, I'm this. assuming these are all powerful talismans or omens. These are really nice. They have like a lot of heft. Oh, they're great. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna 100% put this one on one of my bags. Don't lose it. Oh well, no, it's. You'll I'm, anger the god. The other thing that you'll find in this box is maps. Uh, in this case, this is a map of the Sea Ghost, which is a ship that you encounter throughout one of the adventures, and through, perhaps throughout more of them if you so choose. But the cool thing too is you can also get on the back side just a generic ass boat. So instead of having to draw all of this out yourselves on a right. hexagonal so map. So if you, if you want to have someone have to go and explore a ship, whether it's like a ghost ship or just a pirate ship or whatever, you now have all the interior levels of a ship drawn out for you. So you don't really have to worry about going through and drawing each hundred foot long segment of ship and how to keep it secret and stuff. Um, they're really nice and they're good quality too. And like you can clearly like write yeah. on them with like wet erase marker. Yeah. You can actually fold them without ruining them. Yeah, that's I, al I always appreciate when someone plans for me to consolidate and fold something. Ooh, fun. Okay, here's one thing that I really love too. They also uh, included bonus encounters. The folks over at Beetle and Grimm have also come up with additional uh, sort of shorter form uh, encounters and scenarios that you can just kind of pepper into your campaign if you don't necessarily want to go on a full length salt marsh adventure. One, one through 20. Right, exactly. <laughs> Very extensive. Also though, a map of the town of Saltmarsh. So this is the one where you can see it's, uh, if you're playing in the current active lore 
world of 5e, uh, this would be on the incorrect coast. Yeah. Um, see, but you can just mirror it, flip it upside down, turn the numbers around. There you go. It's all good. Um, that's what's really nice about having it be so modular and you can put it pretty much everywhere. Um, oh, cool. And finally, the actual campaign books. books itself. Now, this is something that Beetle and Grimm does that I actually really, really appreciate as a DM. Um, and instead of just having the book itself that you kind of have to flip back and forth through to find a bunch of information when you need it. Uh, this one just has like, boom, this is the first adventure in the book. This is the second one. This is the oh, third one. Goodness. This is the fourth. Um, and it, so you can just kind of pick and choose what you need to do. And if you're like on your way out to run a game or if people are coming over quickly, you're like, oh God, what do I do? Uh, this one. Well, actually not this one, because this is just appendices. Oh, well. But, um, and then lastly, not lastly, but almost lastly, uh, we've got a DM screen, Fancy DM which screen. I really always do appreciate. Um, so first off, cool aquatic themed artwork all on the front side for your players to look at in addition to all the other cool stuff that you get to hang off the back. Uh, and then on the inside, you have uh, some really handy uh, info tables. Uh, so a sailing ship, a, what the hell is this? Oh, we got a warship over there. Yeah, so basically like if you're on the high seas and you guys are like sailing to like from one place to another, maybe you want to have a random encounter where there's, oh, there's an enemy warship or there's a sailing vessel that you might want to, I don't know, knowing you, Casey, maybe rob, uh, <laughs> slaughter everyone on board. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. I think we both do. And then what do we got last? Oh, is this, is this just, oh, this is the styes. Ooh, okay. Like really nice. Oh my, ooh, that is really nice. Fancy, damn. Um, so this is a map of, an, of a location known as the styes. I think like, I guess Venice, but really dirty and gross. Um, there's sort of water all through it. It's, it's where bad things happen. Yeah. And slithering, writhing things. It's it's like the part of a port town that you just don't go to, but also it's mostly flooded. These are these are spoilers that you definitely don't want to read right now. So we won't turn that around. Um, this is all really good stuff. I can't wait to get a group together and run through a bunch of these adventures. Uh, so this all this whole set runs for about I think it's 175. Yeah. So it's not really that bad mm -hmm. if you buy it for your group. Um, you know, obviously if you if I don't think every single person in a group would want to get their own, mm -hmm. but like it's a great thing to go in on. Like even if a group of, you know, four or five, that's yeah. not that much. You can, it's per a person. it's a Christmas present to each of you. Thanks so much for checking this out, Casey. Thank you for going through all this with no, me. No, thank you, Jr. Helping me identify all these cool little items. Um, for more stuff on dungeons and or dragons, uh, check out a bunch of our great coverage uh, from the Descent Live, uh, D&D's live event. Um, and also go ahead, if you haven't seen it already, uh, we had Mr. Matthew Lillard come in and do an unboxing of the Platinum Edition of the Waterdeep Dragon Heist uh, Beetle and Grimm box, which was just super fun. Uh, so check those out, and for all of your other tabletop gaming needs, stick right here on IGN.